Hi, I'm Karen Palacios Jansen, LPGA teaching professional and personal trainer from kpjgolf.com. When you start a fitness program, you want to do exercises that stretch and strengthen your muscles to elongate them because long, lean muscles work best for golf. When you elongate your muscles, you're able to make longer movements, so your swing arc can get longer and you can get more club head speed and power. With long, lean muscles, you're able to have more of a full range of motion with your muscles so you can turn easier with more power and less effort. Also, long, lean muscles help you stop those short, choppy motions that are usually associated with short and tight, weak muscles. When your muscles are long and lean, you're able to have an efficient swing so you can prevent injury. So golfers who want to improve their golf should consider doing some golf-specific exercises. So to begin your program, you want to start off by doing a flexibility routine to balance out your muscles. Then you want to work into doing some resistance so that you work on your core muscles. And then when you get stronger, then you want to do some exercises for power and speed. During your golf season, you want to maintain your flexibility by stretching before and after your rounds of golf. Here are some golf specific stretches. The first one, you want to stand in a shoulder width stance holding a golf club and getting into your golf posture. From here, take the club and raise it above your head like this. You should feel a little bit of a stretch between your shoulders and your back. From here, bring the club behind your back and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Hold it here for a moment, breathe, and then go ahead and raise the club up again. As you do this exercise, you want to make sure that you're staying in your golf posture the entire time. Incorporating yoga poses into your golf specific routine will help stretch and strengthen your muscles. Here is a very good one to do. It's called the triangle pose. So you position your feet like this, one foot straight and one foot out this way, and then using a golf club for balance, stretch out as far as you can and bend from your torso and lean to the side like this. You should feel a nice stretch on the outside and then you can even raise your arm like this. Hold this position for 10 to 15 seconds and make sure you breathe. And then make sure you do that same exercise on the other side. Here's a stretch that will help you elongate your muscles, not only in your shoulders and in your lower back, but your hamstrings as, as well. And that's really important for the golf swing. What you do is you stand with a shoulder width stance and using a club as balance, stretch out your arms as far as possible, keeping your legs fairly straight with your knees a little bit bent, go ahead and bend from your hip sockets and flatten your back. You should feel this stretch, not only in your shoulders, but your lower back and your hamstrings as well. Hold this position for about 10 to 15 seconds. Make sure you breathe and then release. That's a great overall body stretch. You wanna do golf specific strength training. When you do that, make sure you use lighter weights and do more repetitions. Stand in a shoulder width stance like this and get into your golf posture as if you were going to hit a ball and hold the weights like this. From here, you wanna keep your core very tight and you're gonna punch your arms out in front of you and then bring your arm back this way and you're gonna repeat like this going back and forth. This is a great exercise to build strength not only in your back and your shoulders but your core as well which will help you get more power and speed in your golf swing. Do that for about eight to 10 repetitions and work up to doing two or three sets. For more power and speed in your golf swing, you wanna do exercises that concentrate on rotation. Here's a great one for your golf swing. So go ahead and using a small hand weight or a medicine ball, get into your golf posture and hold the weight out in front of you like this. From here, trying to maintain your lower body very stable, you're going to rotate your upper torso to one side and then to the other side. The important part about this is that you want to make sure that you're rotating the upper body separate from your lower body. This would be wrong, rotating all together like this. So make sure you get that separation and that's really good for your golf swing to help you make a better turn and to get more power. You'll want to do eight to 10 repetitions on each side and then work up to doing two to three sets. To develop power and speed in your golf swing, you want to do exercises 
to help you get that explosive motion. So here are a couple of exercises to help you get those muscles to explode and move faster. To get more club head speed, you actually need to practice swinging faster. The best way to do that is to start out gradually making practice swings and then as you warm up, swing a little bit faster, but the important part is to stay in balance. In order to create club head speed, you want to make sure that you're making a full range of motion and you're shifting your weight correctly. So as you do this exercise, make sure that you are making a complete turn at the top of your swing and as you start down, make sure that you're shifting your weight and all your weight's finishing towards the target. Any weight that hangs back at all will prevent you from having your full club head speed. So make sure that you get that full range of motion on the backswing and shift your weight on the follow through. During the golf season, to maintain your flexibility, you want to make sure that you're stretching before and after your round of golf. The golf swing puts a lot of stress and strain on your lower back, so you want to make sure that you stretch that out before and after you play golf. Here is an excellent exercise for your lower back. You want to lay down on the ground and extend your arms over your head this way. Now, from here, bend your knee and then grab the opposite hand and you want to try to keep your shoulders to the ground as you twist your lower body to the opposite side here. You should feel this a nice stretch in your lower back. You want to hold this position for about 10 to 15 seconds. Make sure you breathe, release, and then do that stretch on the opposite side. You know you need to exercise anyway for better health, so why not work on your golf game at the same time? I'm Karen Palacios-Jansen from kpjgolf.com.